It's popping G Shock Society. It's your boy G Dub. G Shock Warrior three ones. Checking in. Um comparison video I was supposed to do a couple days ago, but I was tired and shit got real, so took a couple days off, came back, I'm doing it for you guys. Giving you a new background. This is my room. It's a long story of why I'm not doing it at my desk anymore. We don't want to get into all that, trust me, believe me. <laughs> but um yeah, still gonna do my videos, obviously. I'm just gonna find different scenarios, different backgrounds to give you. But um shout out to the TCF, shout out to all the G Shock Society, shout out to the Army of Two, and all my boys in the struggle. But um it's your boy G dub and I'm a obviously just comparing to video number four. Y'all know how it works. Two really similar pieces, I pick them up. Um I do the comparison, I tell you which one I think is better. Which one I prefer, and I look at all aspects of the watch. Um, 2009 release of LRG's and G Shock's collab. Um, times are a changing piece. Yellow, of course, obviously, it's not rocket science. And um, 2006 FIFA G Shock collab, Brazil colors, um, Germany World Cup. Yeah, alright, so let's get into it. We're going to start with the LRG, but we're going to start with its box. We're going to compare the boxes first. Um, this watch came in the really tough, really, like, limited editions type box. 10th anniversary of LRG. You see the Roman numerals, um, 1999 to 2009. Lift the research group. You got the tree back there. Model number, of course, CW6900. LR9, 9 means it's yellow. Um, box of the FIFA. This is it right here. Uh, FIFA logo. Um, official license timepiece of the 2006 FIFA World Cup that was held in Germany. Finals was Brazil, Portugal, I believe. Brazil beat Portugal in that final. Don't quote me though. I don't remember much. <clears throat> but if we want to compare boxes, definitely LRG takes the cake. That's just a simple G-Shock box, just different colors cause, and different patterns slash design because it's a limited edition collab. LRG definitely takes that. Um, move the watches for you guys. Remember, we're making yellow a movement. We're bringing yellow back. I don't think yellow ever went anywhere, but nobody ever rocks it, so we're going to start rocking yellow. <clears throat> when it comes to the tins, of course, LRG came in the trunk box that very few limited editions come in. Play Claws, Stussy, um, all your really rare, um, really special pieces come in this box. You see the green and the yellow, and the white, of course. Again, Roman numerals. You see the two different um, LRG logos. Don't know why I'm holding it so fucking far away. It's late as fuck. I'm up watching Friends. <laughs> it's bullshitting. But, um,. Old LRG logo, new LRG logo. It's not rocket science. Uh, chunk box, and then the FIFA came in. Your old tin box. I mean tin case, but it's white and of course has the same pattern slash info. The box had all white with the holes. Um, tin, of course. Go see LRG. It's not rocket science. Like I said. Um, this is like Deadliest Warrior, but with G-Shock, so it's like Deadliest G-Shock. I'm going to go into a quick review of both pieces, in case you didn't see the reviews. But, um, I don't want this to take place out of review, so, y'all better get on them videos. Uh, okay, this is DW6900 LR9, LRG, times are changing collab. Um, y'all see the tree in the background, times are changing. Uh, the LRG logo in the, logo in the background, it's a, um, sunshine yellow glossy finish I see it says lifted research group with the tree um, it has the emblem on the back it says times are changing in the bottom white face um, glossy yellow finish uh, green trim it has that gold um, display to it that the new era has really rare in watches but um, when they do bring it out it does emphasize the piece White G went with the green G, green G, research, written on the band in white. Really nice, definitely summer piece. I wore it yesterday because it was it was nice out and whatnot. And the sun was beaming, 
It looks beautiful, especially when you're wearing like black and such. Really pretty piece. I'm in love. Got it from Adrian, of course. Paid a really low price for it. Um, I should really like it. And then we got the um, 06 FIFA. The story behind this watch: simple. That dude, his budget's tight, so he had to start cutting pieces. This is one of the pieces he was cutting. <clears throat> I couldn't bear to see this piece leave the family. So, um, hit him up, told him, dude, I'm going to pick that up from you. Gave him what he asked for it for it. And the rest is history, like they say. But, um, <clears throat> matte yellow finish. But this is more a mustard yellow. While the LRG is a, um, sunshine yellow. But, yeah, all matte yellow. FIFA with the emblem. On the band keeper, you got um, G-Shock in blue, of course, the Brazil colors. Um, mode, start, stop, adjust, split, reset, all in green. You see the green trim around a yellow face. Beautiful combination. <clears throat> they left the neutral gray display, though, on this watch. Don't know why, but they did. Yellow face would have been, I mean, gold face would have been beautiful to that. Green button, yellow G. Um, the FIFA trophy and 1974 I believe yes sir 74 trademark FIFA the back got the FIFA logo you already know what it is background has a um oh beautiful oh beautiful <laughs> background got the dude kicking the ball of course FIFA everything's the same you already know how it is you know how G Shock works. Yes, that is the time. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. So sorry if I sound tired and whatnot. But I just wanted to get this video off for you guys. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was a quick double review. This is the comparison. <clears throat> Alright. Box and tin, not rocket science. LRG takes that one with flying colors. This might be. Oh, price range. When they dropped, I believe the LRG was 130 don't quote me. And when this dropped, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I have no idea how the FIFA pieces work. They're so, like, obviously they're only released every four years. Because of the World Cup. And I, there's no, I, there's no telling how they pick the countries they're going to do it either. Uh, I believe it's the final four, but I wouldn't be able to tell you. Don't quote me. So, yeah. Um, this probably was somewhere between 110 and 130 when it dropped, too. Unless it's really high because it's the FIFA... I don't want to be able to tell you. I don't have to look that up. But, um, yeah, so, obviously, Box and Tingle to the LRG. There's no comparison. However, watch-wise, you yeah, can see the difference in yellows. Um, I know the lighting is kind of funky, but at the same time, y'all see that the because the FIFA is matte, not glossy, it has a less of a white tint to it, while the, the LRG looks faded. Um, the matte soaks up the coloring. And you can see that it's a deeper yellow. <clears throat> so, um, both definitely summer pieces. Definitely a beautiful idea for yellow. Um, both two really pretty watches to have. They match really well with the Jansport down there. No matter which one you slice it, it's just a glossy finish or a matte finish, depending on which one you favor. I think the, the LRG fits better, but, um, at the same time, you can still wear that FIFA. And, um... I must admit, I like the white face better than the yellow face. However, because this is matte, the yellow on yellow looks beautiful because it is plastic. It's not metallic, as you can see. So that does add to it. Both beautiful watches. I wouldn't be able to tell. Oh, my God. Ugh. Dude, these two together, it's just ridiculous. Like, my, me and my brother try to wear them at the same time. So it's like, I try to really attention. I went out on Sunday with the family. And the minute I walked in to where we were going... The person at the door was like, I like your watch. I was like, thank you, thank you. But yeah, my brother has a, a brown polo jacket that he wears. And when that brown hits this yellow, beautiful, beautiful color. Just kind of know how to work them, of course, like any G-Shock. But yellow's nothing to play with. It's not for fools, let's put it that way. But um, I like the glossy finish over the matte finish, of course. Glossy is easy to keep fit. Oh my god, if I would have dropped this, I would have killed myself. But um... Glossy is definitely easier to keep clean than matte is. Um, but like I said, I think it's the glossy, the glossy finish fault that it doesn't look as deep as a color of, as the FIFA does. 
I like the white face over the yellow. But because this is matte, I like the yellow more. Um, I like how this G, this G button is white to go along with the face. While this is green, count it kind of like contrasts all, all the yellow around it. So again, beautiful work done on both pieces. Um, obviously the LRG has more work done to it than the FIFA. FIFA just has a trophy and the band guard. While this has the lifted research group at the top and the research written on the band. So, um, green trim, of course, on both watches, but this is more like a, um, I'm not going to say seafoam <clears throat> green, but it's a, it's a really gentle light pink, like, wow, light green, while this is more of that, like, deep green, deep, like, jungle green that the Brazilian flag has, um, Brazil's colors are beautiful, by the way, and I've never, ne I've never met people more patriotic and more supportive of their colors and their flag than Brazil. Like, I, I don't understand why it works. It's like, you see pictures and there's going to be, there's, there's always going to be a pic of, you know, the flag. In any picture of Brazil you look at, girls' bikinis is green, blue, and yellow, like, to match. I don't understand how the fuck it works. Like, people walk around with flags on their back on regular day basis. Fucking Independence Day. It's just ridiculous. It's a place I'll definitely want to visit when I get older. 2014 World Cup. I'm working on it. <laughs> never say never. But, um, yeah. So, um, in general, you see matte, gloss, white face, yellow face, um, that gold display versus that neutral gray display. Um, of course, both run, both run on 1289 modules, so neither of them have that 12, 2099 calendar. They both have that 2039 calendar. Um, everything's the same. This backlight has the dude kicking the ball. This backlight has LRG's um, logo. Same color backlight, of course. They both look really bright, too, so neither of them look like they need to change a battery anytime soon. Um, they say DW6900s will probably need a new battery around three years, but my first piece is coming up on three years in a couple months, and it doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon, so they probably just say that to be safe. Um, backplate, of course, you guys know this one has a FIFA um, logo, while well, this one has the LRG logo. So, um, yeah, but enough bullshitting. I think if I had to pick a better piece, um, I think my brother got me beat the, with the FIFA just because it's matte, it's different, it's rare. Um, it's supporting a beautiful country with beautiful colors. And that yellow on yellow is just a killer. Like, I don't understand. You're not going to see that anywhere. So, um, yeah, definitely. I'm going to take the FIFA over the LRG. As much as I would like to take my own piece, um, I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't. I mean, but close up one on one, you see that that's a pretty piece. And this is even, if anything, it's just more beautiful than that. Yeah. Um, definitely rare, two rare pieces. I doubt a lot of people have those two together. Um, of course, we're a big fan of yellow, so we're going to push for that. But, um,. If you guys do come across these two pieces together, um, congrats. Take good care of them. They're beautiful pieces. But FIFA is definitely better. But again, that's just my vote. Um, again, if you're not an avid collector like me and the TCF, shout out to my brothers. Um, no need to go out and about uh, out and about to do this. I didn't want that piece to leave the family, and I did what I could to keep it. This piece I've always been a fan of. The minute Adrian told me he had it. I hit him up and he gave me a ridiculous price. I'd be stupid to turn him down. So, yeah, this is your boy G Dub checking out. Um, bring back yellow, of course. The giveaway. You guys are slacking. The TCF needs 50 subscribers each. I don't want them all to hit 50 and everybody begging, ooh, let me into the giveaway, G Dub. I'm sorry I didn't make it. I forgot to subscribe. I didn't know that was. No. They all need 50 subscribers. If I have 275, there's no reason they can't get 50 each. So, yeah, I'm slacking. The 50 people that are subscribed to all seven of us are the only people that will be in that giveaway. The only reason I'm doing it is because y'all ain't following directions. I'm getting a lot of views on all them on my last videos, but they're not getting subscriptions. So, how does that work? Either you guys are not paying attention or something's wrong. But, get on that. Coney 2012. Um, I'm going to have a video showing you guys my unboxing of that action kit and t-shirt I ordered from them. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, damn. Uh, 
I guess I say, oh, I got a piece coming in from Adrian. He's waiting on it, and when he gets it, he's shipping it to me. That's gonna be that's probably gonna be my next video, unless the action kit from Coney gets here first. We'll see. But your boy's gonna be around. It's your boy G Dub. I answer any questions. Rate, comment, subscribe, like, do whatever, share. Um, Frank, holla at you, Army of Two. I see ya. Um, hi Julie. <laughs> In case you watch this, it's your boy G Dub checking out. Love you guys. Keep up the support. God bless. Salute the TCF.